most likely to screw up a line. Jamie. <laughs> I'm gonna get in so much trouble for this. Of course you said me, but definitely Dakota. I knew for a while that they were making the movie. I didn't immediately think, oh yeah, that's that's me, I'm the guy. Most likely to be caught looking at themselves in the mirror. <laughs> Dakota. Jamie. <laughs> I'm crying. Of course she said me, but Dakota. She's vain. <laughs> and that was so different from what other people were doing, and it was really awesome, really refreshing. Most likely to play a superhero? Me. Probably Jamie. He's really muscular. I noticed. But I'm... <laughs> never mind. What? <laughs> I know that there's a lot of women particularly excited about the film, but I'd say, you know, on the night or the first, you know, premiere, that will all feel very real. <laughs> I get a proper sense of that excitement. Most likely to break into song? Jamie. Me. He sings constantly. Too much? Almost. <laughs> but he has a really beautiful voice. Oh, you've got a quite a nice voice, she says. Quite nice voice, she said. <laughs> we make each other laugh, which I think is really important. <laughs> because there's heightened awareness that, you know. I'll give Jamie some credit. He can be really funny sometimes. I think I, I just have a little bit of an upper hand because I have experience in comedy. <laughs> right. And I was on a, I was on a television show. <laughs> And um, it's not his fault that he doesn't have it's not the his fault. body. I presume Dakota said that I was funnier. Um, well, no. I mean, there we go. I've it's kind of awkward. I am funnier than Dakota. So, yeah, that's true. She's done more comedy than I have. That's fair to say. Right. But um, that is going to change. <laughs> I'm going to make sure she never does another comedy. Bring her right? down, right? Yeah. What's one thing you always bring to set? My smile. Looks like you to watch the porn parody of this film. Um, her. Me. <laughs> Is there gonna be a porn parody? There always will be. Mate, you know, I can tell, you know. <laughs> You've watched it. You've watched it. I know. It's called research, dude. <laughs> yeah, of course. What would your hip-hop stage name be? DJ JD. <laughs> I have always had a complex with uh, the way I walk. Someone's always commented on my walk. It's always been a bit like, all right. That's how you walk. That's how you walk. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's how you walk. Like, the director, or the producer and writer, Alan Kubik, came up and said, um, is that a character thing or... <laughs> <laughs> this is my old walk, right? Okay, this is the old walk. This oh, the old I'm walk. so okay. excited. Don't get that excited. <laughs> I'll do it. This is my old walk. <laughs> right? Okay. No, no, okay. This is my... This is the walk we tried, right, with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I <laughs> and then, and then, this is what, I'll, I'll, this is what we settled on, and I'll tell you how we got there. <laughs> this is what settled on. Oh shit, I can't. <laughs> What's Anna's spirit animal? A unicorn. What do you have most in common with Anna? We have the same spirit animal. Just a little bit of dancing in Fifty Shades of Grey, and I was, I can't dance at all, so, uh, I mean, I, I, they asked me could I dance, and I was like, yeah, I dance all the time. I can't dance. Dance is my life. So I had dance lessons, and it was like Foxtrot, it was very sort of classic. And the, the, the dance teacher, you know what you need to do, just think about it as walking, I was like, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm 31 years old. It's literally the first thing you learn to do in life. Is walk. And I was like, oh, it's funny. I, I'm not great walking. Anyway, and he said, he said, you know, just think of walk heel, to, uh, heel to toe, heel to toe. And I was like, heel to toe. And no one had ever told me that. Either. I was like, I did too much toe to like more toe. <laughs> I don't know. So now, I, now I, I just apply that every day and I'm walking on. Oh, oh, the most effective aphrodisiac? Rapes. <laughs> that was an aphrodisiac. <laughs> uh, most likely to win a dance contest? Boah. Me or Jamie. I don't know. Okay. That's a close call. Dakota. She kind of went both ways. They're very different styles. <laughs> if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? My attitude. Donald Trump, dominant or submissive? Submissive. submissive. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, I'm not going to be in there looking for cable ties and rope and those things unless I need them. <laughs> 
for not for those purposes, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. What is the sexiest thing about women? Hair. <laughs> Body hair. <laughs> the sexiest man of the year. So there's your lovely page I there. I seen this. So that's yours. Um, I'm, I'm actually getting it. Yeah, you can keep that one. Look what are three words you would use to describe Dakota? Funny. Uh, talented. Oh. And uh, caring. It's like more of a task. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know, oh. JB? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah. More of a task. You take that in the best possible yeah, way, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. J <laughs> Jamie, did you? What's one word you would use to describe Jamie? Ooh. Um. It's meant to be instinctual. Superb. Wow. You're welcome. I'm not going to be like standing around Leicester Square with my shirt off saying, "Did you enjoy the movie?" <laughs> <laughs> did you know that the dolphin is the horniest animal in the animal kingdom? Yeah, I watch Animal Planet. Pretty. I mean, we finished filming over a year ago. So uh, obviously for Sam, a director, she's spent most of that year in a dark room editing it and uh, you know, the all, everything that goes with post-production. Um. <laughs> no, everything's funny. Everything's funny now. I'm just thinking of her in the dark room. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alone. Yes. <laughs> it took her a year to edit this. <laughs> and it's hard to get away from it. It's a big part of the story. So there's, there's enough in there to uh, keep you keen. <laughs> Especially when we get into the red room, and you know, yeah, I've never been in a room like that in my life. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, 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 we're totally new to all this apparatus, and, yes. uh, and I had to be comfortable with it because you know he, Christian's the one that uses it. Yeah. So I asked to spend a bit of time in there by myself. <laughs> um, so How are you guys able to kind of get in the moment during those scenes? Jamie has a fluffer. <laughs> What's a fluffer? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and tell all your secrets. <laughs> um, and that is, I mean, that is, there's a love story. It's, about, it's, very, in, it's very, like, classic in that it's two people who on paper uh, shouldn't be together, um, but they make sacrifices to make that love work and, you know, change for one another. That, is, that story's been told a million times before. Um, without the S&M, so. Does he love <laughs> In the film, I think you get that he loves her. Yeah, I mean, you get, uh, yeah, d yeah. But it's, yeah, I guess he sort of never says as much to your, no, my performance says that as well. Yes, it really Thank does. You. It was all in your eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you was exactly how I imagined Anastasia to be. Thank believe you. it or not, seriously. Thank you. The lip bites and everything. I'm, 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 <laughs> Presume I'm okay. about to get the same couple. Move on, next question. No, your character, Jamie, Christian Grey. Yes. Going to, where the lady works in the... She works in a hardware store. She does. Yeah. No, she really does work in a hardware store. <laughs> so that's not a real hardware store, but... Uh, that is a real hardware store. Oh, it is a real hardware this store. This is the funnest day of my life. <laughs> such a boy. No, I'm such a... I know, I'm such a, uh, I'm such a fiddler. I didn't even know that there was sex in this movie. Yeah, it's news to me. Really? Too. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, my. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, got a lot of reading to do then. Should have read the book. <laughs> <laughs> How do you taste? <laughs> um, better than I imagined. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yes. Why did you do it? Very <laughs> more, Jamie. Very yes. more. Well, that's mm. what they say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. <laughs> now, you shot this movie on, a, on, on an island in Italy called Pantelleria, right? Pantelleria. That sounded Pantelleria. like a disease. <laughs> Pantelleria? Yeah. Pantelleria. I'm afraid you have Pantelleria. Pants. What? A disease of the pants? Yeah. Let's. You have, you have a disease of the pants. Let's get those off before it spreads to your shirt. I actually know what that is. That's a guy. Is that going it's your just wife? a whip, isn't it? No, you're no. supposed to put it at the, the big. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, and the island is mostly made up of volcanic rock, so it's not, it's not very soft and cozy. It's not uh -huh. somewhere that Did I they make would... you sleep on the rock? I don't understand. Why, why does the rock have to be soft and cozy? Isn't well, it dramatic? Well, there's no beaches, so if you wanted to go in the water, you have to wear water shoes and, like, rock climb down to the water. But then the water is full of jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> so figure that one out. This sounds like, this sounds like a prison. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> licorice is stuck in my throat. <laughs> I'm sure the producers are going to be delighted you're, you're pitching it holding that. <laughs> yeah, slightly off message, I feel. <laughs> What's it about? <laughs> so, what did you ask me again? I've told you, haven't I? No, you haven't told me. You, you just said... You just... I don't want to seem like a wimp. But I also have a 5.30 a.m. pickup tomorrow in Canada. <laughs> Wait, someone's picking you up in 5.30 5 in Canada tomorrow? Mm -hmm. You know you're in New York right now, right? <laughs> you're not in Canada. You're not in Canada. Someone told you that. Yeah. This is not the CBC. Wait a minute. Hell, hold on. I'm in New York. Yep, I'm supposed to be in Toronto. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in Vancouver. It's farther than Toronto. You're supposed to be in Vancouver at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. you got to leave now. I know. What am I doing? <laughs> well, Jamie Dornan, you had a real dominatrix on set, didn't you? Uh, yes, like, uh, he called himself the Kink Advisor, was his name. <laughs> Is that in the credits? I didn't know where he was, what he, what he had in the credits, yeah. He was... What are you gonna do in Vancouver? I'm filming a movie. Well, what's the movie, darling? Well, I'm filming two movies. <laughs> okay, what is it? Um, Fifty Shades Darker and Fifty Shades Freed. I mean, like, like he, he's not the sort of guy I'm, like, dying to spend time with, you know? Yes, yeah, unwind at the end of a day of, like, 12 hours of simulated sadomasochism. What do you do? What do you do to, like, like, oh, I'm gonna shake it off at the end of the day? I fly to New York City and I do shots of tequila with you. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, uh, rarely do you do something uh, sex-based or something deemed to be sexy with someone sort of going, I mean, is that sexy? Are we gonna let him do it that way? <laughs> Which I had, you know, uh, often. And, mm. you know, I'd usually, I'd do something and I, I'd, I'd, we'd do a rehearsal and I'd think, yeah, that must have looked relatively sexy, and then Sam would sort of take me aside and be like, no. <laughs> never, never do that to a woman. Yeah. <laughs> um, 